Uh, we're, we're pleased to bring the uh, Prodigy Athletes College Showcase Camp to Linfield Christian High School this year. That has the opportunity to uh, showcase the local area talent for the coaches that are coming out of town um, from the various colleges, from various divisions and uh, collegiate levels to see what we have to offer. Um, not just the kids at Linfield Christian High School, but the kids from all over. Some coming as far as Vista and San Diego with the opportunity to learn from some of the best in the business and a chance to work on their skill set in the offseason right before they go into camp and go into school where they can benefit their team. So it's really a chance for the, for the youth in the area to get better at their skill set uh, no hidden agendas, just an opportunity for them to work on their craft right before they get ready to get in the season and obtain a scholarship or an opportunity to get looked at so they can receive a scholarship. I'm Coach Lyle from Prodigy Athletes. We're here at Prodigy Athletes College Showcase. This is the, our fifth year. Um, yesterday we had our youth uh, camp where we had the college coaches out here not only to teach uh, the youth, the fundamentals of football, but also to help uh, youth football coaches master their craft and help them to teach uh, the basics to, uh, to their youth football programs. Today we have our college showcase, uh, which features incoming freshmen all the way through incoming high school players, uh, high school football players. And we have uh, Weber State, University of Hawaii, uh, the University of Utah, uh, we have Cal Poly, uh, NAU, Arizona, uh, just some of the schools, Western New Mexico, go, um, go, and we'll go, have Azusa Pacific and San Jose State also coming in. So uh, these coaches volunteer their time. Uh, we've got a head coach, three defensive coordinators, a couple offensive coordinators, so, some guys that are here that are able to uh, make some decisions regarding scholarships for our local athletes. Uh, the reason I started uh, having the camp was that I found that our families were having to spend a lot of money um, either on you know, recruiting services that cost thousands of dollars or sending their kids to the universities, um, having to pay for the flights, the hotel, and the food, and for them to only see one, uh, uh, one program. Um, this allows our local athletes to come uh, see a number of programs. It's called a non-institutional camp. Um, the coaches are allowed to do this within two 15-day windows, one in June and one in July. Um, there are some rules that we have to uh, abide by to be NCAA compliant, um, but it, it, it really helps uh, these college coaches get back and get to know these families and the communities that they live in as well.